Claudia here from Create with Claudia and today I'm going to show you a really fun and beautiful cheery wall uh, hanging that you can make out of embroidery hoops and rainbow fabric. So today it's all about rainbows um, uh, for this craft and uh, who doesn't like rainbows? They're fun, they're bright, they're cheery and lots of fun colors to use. And it's also, this is probably one of the easiest crafts I've done uh, and it, it really packs a punch on the wall with the bright colors. So let's get started. I'm gonna let you know what supplies you need. First and foremost, you're gonna need rainbow fabrics. I'm lucky I have a nice stash because I'm a quilter. I have a fair amount of fabrics on hand, um, but you can put, go pick up in the store as well. You're gonna need seven different colors. You're gonna need pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Um, and again, you know, you can do different shades. Some people I've seen on, uh, on uh, different websites, really pretty paler um, rainbows. So it's really a matter of your taste. I like this bright, vivid, packs a punch rainbow fabric. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need seven embroidery hoops. Uh, these are small, they are four inches in diameter. And these are those bamboo ones and they're relatively inexpensive at a craft store. And again, you're gonna need seven of those. You're gonna need something to trace out your circle so that the fat, trace the circle onto the fabric. So I have this plate, this little dish. It is about five and a half inches in diameter and that seems to fit this embroidery hoop really well with just a little bit of overhang. Um, uh, but when you, when you trim out the fabric out of the fat, um, when you trim around the edge, you can trim inside the traced line and that should take care of that. I trim out or I cut out my circles with pinking shears. I highly, rec highly recommend that. Uh, it helps with the frame, and it also adds a cute little decorative edge, uh, which I think adds a little touch of something to the, uh, to the project. You're going to need a hot glue gun ready to go, um, or you can use quick drying strong glue, but you're going to be gluing these embroidery hoops together in a rainbow shape, um, as you'll see in a few minutes, and um, you want that strong quick drying glue. And then you're going to need something, I use this felt tip marker to trace out, trace the uh, the uh, circle shape onto the fabric. And that's about it. Um, so here, let's get started. All right, I'm just gonna do the, I've already cut out a few for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I cut out the fabric. This is that purple. And you wanna trace your pattern or your circle out on the wrong side of the fabric because you don't want to, um, any pen mark to show on the front. And you just make sure it's nice and flat. Um, it does get pulled out nice and taut when you're putting it into the embroidery hoop, so that helps with any wrinkles you might have, but you probably want to press it too. And you're going to take your marker, and hopefully you're going to be able to see this, you're going to trace around the outside of that plate. And you can see that, I don't like to make a dark mark out of the way and then you're going to take your pinking shears and cut out that circle and again just inside that marked line so none of that's going to show later So there you have your circle, and it has that nice uh, edge, that pinking sheer edge. And I've cut out some more for you, and then you're ready to put it in the, into the embroidery hoop. So you're gonna take your embroidery hoop, you're gonna loosen it up, pop out that center, lay it on top with the right side facing up, and just make sure it's centered. You can flip it over and look, yeah, that looks pretty centered to me, that looks okay. Then you're going to put the top on, and this can all be adjusted. Oh, that one's a little broken, oh well. And you can see I might actually readjust that one just a little bit. Loosen it up a little bit more. Just want to get it nice. 
nice and centered. Okay, there we go. And you put that down and then tighten that up. And pull those nice and tight. Get out any bubbles, any, not really bubbles, but any wrinkles or any. Nice and tight. Okay, so there's your purple one. And I've already cut these out of the fabric, and we'll go ahead and add those really quickly. All right, this is the last one. I just want to make sure, it's kind of hard sometimes Adjust it a little bit to center it. And one thing I did forget to mention, I think, was these new uh, embroidery hoops uh, have that blue sort of protective covering on the metal part. Just peel that away when you get a chance. Um, I will do that later. I forgot to do that before this video. So there you go. There are your hoops. I had already done a couple beforehand. And then you're going to lay them out. Here's the two I did before. So there's your pink, you're going to start. I like this using a mat like this, or you could use some kind of a line just to get me sort of lined up when I'm laying out my rainbow. And then you're going to lay these out. I have to remember what order they're in. <laughs> yellow is on top, it's in the center. Nice bright yellow. And then the green, blue, and the purple. And there you go. Those are so cute and you just want to line them up uh, I let's see that looks about right that looks good like a nice arch shape and then you're ready to glue them together and that's where you're gonna need your pencil and I might pull that one down just a little bit the one thing I do and it's up to you it's just me being uh, I just like that sort of directional thing I put all of those uh, the screws at the top facing the right the, the same direction and that's just me up to you but to glue them together, you want to keep them on your work surface, and you're just going to take your pencil and mark, sort of go down toward in the center there, and try and mark on both sides where you want the glue to go. Okay, and then you're going to take your glue gun. Um, watch out for those fingers. Actually, what I would, I should have done this first. I'm going to go ahead and um, I would do this over a piece of paper. I would do this over a piece of paper so that. Um, that, uh, that you wouldn't uh, see the glue, that the glue wouldn't um, get onto your work surface. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Okay, so you see I have the two marks. That's going to help me when I'm laying out my project. And you're going to take your glue gun, and you want to add the glue towards, let me just show you, towards the back of the frame so it doesn't sort of squish out the front. It may still a little bit. Hopefully, that will squish out the back. So add it towards the back. And you just need a nice little dollop of it. And I if I just put a little bit there, wipe off the tip there, and then add. You gotta find your mark, make sure your mark is nice and dark. There it is. And you're gonna hold it maybe for about 10-15 seconds. Just so that glue dries. You can see a little bit of the glue coming out there. Um, but that's why you want to hold it towards the back and you don't want to overload the glue on this project, definitely by any means. Okay, I think that's good for now for this. Okay, so then of course you're going to have to readjust your, it's still a little soft, okay. Readjust, I'm going to take that pencil and we'll go ahead and do that.
but not least is this purple one. Just take a little bit of time to glue these together. I always make sure the mark is on there and then it looks nice and even. Let me just show you here. It's it away from you when you're adding these hoops. There you can sort of see how it's nice and even. Match that up. All right, last but not least. And when it's still a little wet, I just make sure it, it evens up nicely. It looks nice and even. Hold it for about 10 seconds. That's the beauty of glue guns. Just watch your fingers when you're doing this. Uh, but uh, they dry so quickly and they're a nice strong hold. Okay, it's not quite dry, but good enough for this. There is your rainbow wall hanging. And the nice thing is, let me flip that over. Hopefully it doesn't break. That way you can see the real rainbow. Isn't that pretty? You can put a ribbon here at the top and hang it on the wall. Um, I just love this and it is so easy. It took me, you know, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes when all is said and done. Um, and you have a great rainbow wall decoration. Happy, cheery, bright, um, and it would look good, uh, you know, wherever you want to put it. And again, I would just put a ribbon right here or if you wanted to put two, you could put two right here because um, it may, depending on how you, uh, how even your uh, glue was, it might be heavier on one side than the other. So you might want to put one ribbon here, one ribbon here, and tie it at the top. Um, up to you. But there you go. There's your uh, rainbow embroidery hoop wall hanging. Uh, really pretty, and I appreciate you watching. I hope you get a chance to make it. Thanks so much, and have a great day.